Hey everyone, let's have a quick chat about Bonjour Tristesse by Françoise Sagan. I read the English translation by Irene Ash and I really loved this book. It's very short, you can read it in a day, at least that's what I did. I was really drawn into the story, the writing and everything. This book basically tells the story or the adventures of a summer of Cecile, her father and two other women, Elsa and Anne. Her father is basically dating Elsa at the beginning and then Anne shows up, who's an old friend of the family, and things evolve. This book is told in retrospect, so we know that Cecile is older now and you can tell it in the writing that she looks back at things. I really loved how you can see how she overanalyzed everything that had happened in that summer. Everything is looked upon from the wisdom of later times and I loved the writing. The writing feels detached and vulnerable at the same time. You really feel the lightheartedness of the summer adventure and the heat just oozing off it. And it's, I don't know, I really loved it. I also loved how it looked at Cecile and how she felt threatened by Anne and her way of life. Her father and Cecile live a rather frivolous life and Anne is more the intellectual part and she frowns upon a lot of things they do and the events that happen make Cecile on the one side be drawn to Anne. She really loves her and she really respects her but on the other side she feels rather threatened in her young 17 year old yeah flirty self exploring the world and enjoying that her father is taking her on so many adventures and allowing so many wild things to happen and it's all in these few pages where you can see how Cecile clings to a life that she wants but society might be more on Anne's side and how she really doesn't know how to deal with things how to deal with emotions how to handle love and everything around that and normal family life like marriage that is something that is coming up in this story a lot from her father's point of view from Anne's point of view and from also Cecile's point of view what she wants from it and her understanding of what it does and what it means for her life as you can see there's a lot of stuff in this short book and I highly recommend you pick it up if you haven't yet if you like the writings of the 50s and summer adventure with really deep impactful meanings for a later life and like I said, I really enjoyed that this was written in retrospect and you can really tell that the th events happening that summer really stuck with Cecile a long time. What can I say? I loved the book and you should read it. And if you have, tell me in comments what you thought or what you liked about the book. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.